Hi, and welcome to Hope Hillbilly, Hillbilly Christmas. Christmas. We have lots of great stuff in store, don't we, Leanne? We sure do, Billy Ray. We got some decorating to do. Uh, what else we, we got? We got some crafts. Some crafts. Some recipes. Mm -hmm. We have made our house the holliest, jolliest hoedown in town, and we're going to show you how to do the same. You want to be sure you hang your mistletoe in the right spot. Wait a minute. Hey, Leanne. Got some mistletoe for you for the proper kissing spot. Now we're going to put the crowning achievement on this tree. True north, just like Santa. Look at that beautiful. we making here we're making a cracker bread house some families like to use gingerbread but there ain't nothing better than some classic american white crackers we're using port wine cheese that's classic christmas that cheese ball looks like delicious silly putty it really is <laughs> i think silly putty might actually taste better how big should i make this thing billy ray that's about the size of my double wide, so that looks about right. Getting a little crafty in here today. Boy, it sure is a good thing this worked, Billy Ray. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Now it Oops. really does look like my double wide. These are very delicate crackers. They're very prone to having their feelings hurt. Like delicate snowflakes. S stupid. Oh, shit. I think this is going to be the tricky part. <laughs> it sure is. This whole thing's a tricky part. You know, Billy Ray, there's millions of people starving in this world. We're making cracker houses. I don't know. Hey, hey, this ain't working, Billy Ray. Oh, and you know shit. what? Hmm. This was a great idea in theory. Yeah. That's where the cracker crumble. <laughs> well, you know what? Or like, like a wise man said, there's no mistakes, just happy accidents. We're gonna fix that right on up. Just like the falling snow. Just take some pork, pork rinds. Delicate. Ah, oh, just like the fresh fallen snow. I think I hear Santa coming. Well, who wouldn't want a piece of this? That's beautiful shark country. Oops. I ruined Christmas again. Time to drink away my sorrows. Sponsored by Baldy Supermarkets. The okay is quality at lowest prices. Now, no holiday tradition is complete without my grandpappy's famous recipe for eggnog. Now, there's a couple secret ingredients, and I'm going to show you how to make it. And it tastes so damn good. First, you stir it off with some milk. Put a little bit more. A little bit more. You know, you got your traditional stuff. You're going to add a little bit of cinnamon. Mmm, that's a lot of cinnamon. Spicy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you got your cloves for that little extra spice. Mmm, mmm, smells so good. <coughs> Excuse me. You ain't supposed to huff it, Billy Ray. <laughs> and the touching spice of nutmeg. Mmm, mmm. Mm. That looks so good. I would have thought you put that on top, but what the hell do I know? <laughs> well, it's Grandpappy, so you know Grandpappy. He's a drunk. Uh, he bypasses all the bourbon and he goes for the Champagne of beers, the Miller High Life. I do mm. believe that's your grandpappy's signature. Yeah, that's a signature. The other part of his signature ingredient is 
ketchup. Mmm. You might be thinking, what the hell is that man doing? But you don't know until you try it. So that's what that's sure enough what I'm thinking. <laughs> the ultimate secret ingredient. Jalapeno juice. Mmm. Alright. Make sure you leave room to stir it, Billy Ray. Oh, I better watch out. Now I stir it on up. Mmm, that the spices still tend to not mix up very well, so you get that full aroma and flavor with that full with that first taste in your mouth. Mmm. Doesn't it look so appetizing? Looks delicious, Billy mm, Ray. I can't wait to taste it. And you can't forget the egg, which makes an egg, you know, puts the egg in the nog, if you know what I'm saying. And you got to make sure you leave room for the egg, you know, right up to the tippy top. Mmm. 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 Check out that delicious egg yolk. Some people like leaving it in there whole and intact because they like that little bit of extra. It's like a Christmas surprise. That's right. Mmm. It's the Christmas tradition of my family. All right, here we go with Grandpappy's secret recipe for his special eggnog. Bottoms up. Mmm, mmm, that's so good. <laughs> that tastes so, oh my God. I want to go back in for seconds, but I'm going to save a little bit for Leanne later. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> Yum. It's so delicious. You know, I think that egg adds the extra bit of spice. You know, adding some vanilla to it makes it extra spicy. So our Christmas tradition, we like to exchange gifts on Christmas Eve. I love you, sweetie. <laughs> I love you too, Billy Ray. <laughs> Billy Ray, is this my toilet paper stash? We're down to three rolls of toilet paper. I haven't had a chance to stock up. I better save that here. Let's see what we got. Beanie Weenies, my favorite. Mm -hmm. Billy Ray. Hey, I'm just protecting myself later. All right, you, you son of a bitch. All right, let me see what I got in here. Mm. <gasps> you got my favorite, a big old can I, of Budweiser. I know how much you love it, Billy mm -hmm. Ray. Mm -hmm. Again, it's, it's gonna be a good night tonight. King of beers. And wait a minute. A partially eaten bag of crackers and an open can of say cheese. It's, <laughs> this looks familiar. It's gently used. <laughs> Just like me. Here you go. Oh. Here's your stockings. And there's your there's your stocking. Be sure that, that that's coming oh, no. out. There you go. Mm. Mm. Oh, scratchers. One dollar scratchers, you cheap some bitch. Mm, you got me two dollar scratchers. That's right. Because <laughs> you're special to me. Sunflower Ranch. I see that we've been to 7-Eleven. Let's see what I got. I got Grandpa John's Pork Crackling Dippers. I guess, what, what could I dip these in? I'll dip these in my eggnog easy later. Easy cheese. That's right, or easy cheese. You knew what I needed. That's right. They're extra tar. That's my bet. That's my favorite. And let's see. Oh, and oh, some coffee creamers. Yeah, I had to cut back because I spent all the money on the scratchers. And ketchup. We ketchup. Can. You can put in your eggnog. That's right. There you go. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Billy Ray. All right. Now that stupid shit's over. <laughs> well, thank you for spending some of your Christmas time, your Christmas holiday spirit with us on Hoat Hill, Billy. That's right. And now we're going to move on to our favorite holiday tradition. Mm -hmm. Billy Ray is going to tell us the story of the night before Christmas. That's right. It was the night before Christmas, and the trailer park was dead. Not a creature was stirring, not even Duke the meth head. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that Santa Earnhardt soon would be there. Leanne had started to bitch, nag, and whine, cause I'd passed out drunk from too much moonshine. 
When up on the trailer, I heard a loud bang. It was then that I heard Santa yell, God dang. Santa was skinny, like he'd done too much crack. Santa, I said, what you got in that sack? As Santa opened the sack, my eyes got all wide. I tried to take a peek to see what's inside. Santa said, Wanna see what I got? With a grin, he pulled out some beers, some porn, and Slim Jims. Santa stumbled around for a minute or two, then took a swig of his frosty Mountain Dew. He took a few steps, stumbled, and crashed. I couldn't believe it! Santa was trashed! Santa started to shimmy like he was doing a dance. Dagnabbit! He said, I just peed my pants. He looked down and shrugged with pants all soaked, but he just laughed and grabbed a couple of smokes. As he turned to leave, he put a finger up his nose. He slurred, Merry Christmas or whatever, I suppose. He spotted an empty bottle stationed by the door. He gave a wink, a nod, and said, Just a little bit more. Santa went back to his reindeer and sleigh, and we heard him call out as he flew away. Now Brittany, now Forrest, now Bo and Buck, on Colton, on Dixie, on Hank and Huck. We heard him shout drunken as he flew out of sight. Merry Christmas to y'all and to y'all a good night.